All right, so third grade and fourth grade here. So this is a review for third grade, or sorry, fourth grade and third grade. This is what you're learning. So I, we have the letters here, E going up. Remember, no H in music. So instead of after G, we would normally say H, but it's not H, it's A. And then it just keeps going up on the musical alphabet from line to space to line to space to line to space to line to space to line. All right, so what's this note? On the line, the middle line, that's kind of like what I like to anchor around, so I remember that. The middle line is, what is it here? B. And I made all of these, these measures spell um, a word. So B, we go down to a space, right? That's on a space, it's not on a line. Remember, if it's a line, the line goes through the note head. If it's a space, the line, or the head note head is between the lines. <clears throat> so we've got B, then A. Is this a line or a space? It goes through it, so it's a line. The second line is a G. And what's up here? The one, two, three, fourth line, it's a line, right? One, two, three, four, D. Oh, first, this one spelled bag. So let's check out what this one spells. Second space, one space, two space, A. Middle lines, or third line, one, two, three, B, dab. And then, what's this? ooh, this is a double one repeat, so we know it's the same because it's on the same line, B. Bottom line, what's the bottom line? E, and that doubles again, so we know it's E because it's on the same line. So those notes are right next to each other, so it's really easy to decode what that is. Now it spells B. All right, let's see if I can come up with some more here. You can fast forward. I'm just gonna let the tape roll. I would like to say a special thank you to Mrs. Ginther for letting me borrow her whiteboard. And if she's watching, yes, these black lines that I put on there will come off. They're just tape that I had, skinny black tape. So I think I used green and that seemed to work well. Let's see if I can come up with some more words. Um, ooh. See, what other words could I use? All right, so I'm kind of out of room. Um, so there we go. I'm gonna use blue to write the letters in this time. So we have the top space. What's the top space here? Look here, top space, E. And is this note on a line or a space? It's on a line, which one? One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, D. And then this one is on a line or a space? A line, so it's the second one, one, two. So come over here, go up one line, two line. Where's the note that's on that? It's a G. Bottom line, we should know bottom line just like that. Bottom line's E. All right, so that word spells edge. And then this one, is it a line or a space? A space, because remember, it's between, the note has between the two lines. Space, so it's the one, two, three, third space. One, two, three, third space. Where's that note right there? Go down. C. This one is on a space or a line. It's a space because it's between the two lines. It's the second one. One, two. Go over. A. And then this one is a line or a space. It's a line. It's the second line. Boom, boom. There's G. This is a line or space, a line, and it's the bottom line, right? 
And the bottom line we should know like that because it's at the back of the, my classroom, closest to the tables. The bottom line is E. Remember when you go in my classroom, E, B, F, right? So there you go. There are a couple, let's do one more. And again, feel free to fast forward through this, but you might miss some cool something that I say, I don't know. I planted elephant ears this last weekend. Actually, I so I planted them last fall, and so they wouldn't freeze out due to the frost. I dug them up in November, I think. Actually, it may have been December because it didn't get cold too soon. Um, but I dug them up and I put them in garbage bags and put them in my basement, covered them up so light wouldn't get to them. <clears throat> and um, actually, they started to uh, come out on their own. So I dug them and they were in big, big, huge clumps about this size. And you have to separate the bulbs off of them because they grow bulbs. That's how they reproduce and multiply. Um, so anyway, I broke those bulbs up. And if I would have thought, I should have videoed myself and posted it for you guys. Um, but anyway, so I planted a few of those in my yard again. And I planted some sunflower seeds as well. Let's see. I'm just going to put some random notes up here so I don't have to think about what um, words I'm trying to spell, all right? And that way, we'll make sure that we have, I think, hopefully, all of the lines and spaces taken care of. And we do, and I'm gonna put another one right there. All right, so what are our notes here. Line or, this is the question I always like to ask myself. Line or space? Space, right? Let's just go through and do say that. Space, line or space? Space, line, line, remember? The line goes through the head, it's a line note. Line, line, space, line, space, line. All right, now we've got the bottom space, F. Top space, look at the top space, we've got E. Line, it's the middle line, the third one. It's in the middle of the class, remember the middle line? B. Second line, G. Bottom line, what's the bottom line? You gotta remember the bottom line right away. E, top line, what's the top line? That's another one you always remember, F. So that looks like a weird F. That's a little bit, a little better. So top F, or sorry, top line is always, always F. And then here's the second space. Remember when we do the lines in my classroom, we do um, D, B, and F. Back, middle, front. And then A, second space. I kind of gave you that away, sorry. Line number two is G. Space number one, two, three is C. Fourth line is one, two, three, four, D. All right, there you go. And you can always rewind this. I'm gonna do one more on here and <clears throat> I'll mix it up again, no letters. Um, and I don't know if I said it in this video or the one that I just recorded, but I'm going to put some links for you to play games um, on there. So maybe that'll be a little fun for you. Um, let's use black. No, let's stick with green. All right, are you ready? You can again, fast forward. sure I got them all. I think I did. And we'll do one more here. All right. So you can slow this down. I'm going to just go through and write them quickly. Um, because I'm running low on time and I like to keep my videos kind of at a, under 15 minutes at least. I think that's what I'm allowed. 
So we've got, let's talk about spaces and lines first. Just say space, line, space, line, line, space, 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 line, line. All right, top space is always E. Middle line, this is one we should be getting no B. Bottom space, remember what, um, what word do the spaces spell? F-A-C-E, face. So bottom space is F. The bottom space and the top line are the same, F, and the top space and the bottom line are the same, E. So you have two E's and two F's. Line, line number two is G. Line number four is D. Space number three is C. Space number two, A. Bottom space number one, F. On here's where we do the double thing, right? Top, bottom space, top line, both F. And middle line's B. And where's the, here we go, let's do this. I'm gonna erase this one so you can kind of see it. So the top space and the bottom line are the same. They are both E. All right, good deal. Rewind this video and practice again and that'll help you out. Also check for the either links down in, on the YouTube video, if you're looking at this from YouTube, um, I suggest that you, if you're looking at it from the website, the link should be over here um, or clear at the bottom of the page. Um, but if you're on the website, go click on YouTube on the video, the bottom right-hand corner of the video, and um, subscribe to my channel and give it a like, right? All right, thanks, guys. We'll see you later.